Hey YouTube, I got a couple knives I want to show you today. Um, I'll do two separate videos, but here's the first one. First one, probably haven't a lot of you probably haven't seen or haven't seen in a long time. This is the Beretta Avenger 2. This comes in a box, um, plastic wrap. It's kind of plain box, but this thing is sweet, man. Here it is. It's carbon fiber. Re reversible pocket clip. Uh, I'm not sure. It looks like you could uh, attach it um, tip up, tip down, left and right, but I haven't tried taking it apart. That's just uh, the way it looks. Look at that. Carbon fiber overlay on the blade. Tonto blade. And the carbon fiber overlay is on VG10 and it's made in uh, Seki City, Japan. This is a sweet knife. It's a liner lock. Super smooth opening and closing. Thing's sweet. It's a collaboration between uh, Warren Thomas and Beretta. This thing looks amazing in person. That, that blade, the overlay with the carbon fiber seen this uh, a while ago online and all that stuff and I've been wanting it for a while. Finally got my hands on one. Um, out of the box it did have a little uh, little blade play. I haven't tried adjusting it yet or not. I just got it. Relatively thin line of lock but I don't care. Weight. Feels pretty light. Um, I'm not sure exactly. 3.8 ounces, which isn't bad. Um, it does have uh, three and a quarter inch blade, with um, most of it being usable. Just a little bit at the end that's not. And the full length of the knife is right around a little under eight inches, I'd say. Here's a little size comparison. This is the Kershaw Blur. See, they're uh, real comparable. Almost the same size. And the Blur, oh, turned off. Let's see which one's heavier. Blur, yeah, almost the same. Tiny bit. Yeah, about the same. It's weird, it feels lighter, but yeah, this is the Beretta Warren Thomas design. Sweet knife. You see one side is a uh, carbon fiber and well they're both carbon fiber, but this one has a liner obviously. And the other side is just pure carbon fiber with no liner. All open. It's only got the pivot and then uh the bolt in the back. And then the pretty thick blade stop. This knife is cool. It looks better in person than it does on the internet. Alright, guys, thanks for checking it out.